everybody. Today I am here in Bonita Springs, Florida, and today I am having lunch at Mel's Diner. And I'm super excited to be here because this is a really cute place. This is a 50s style diner. The music is from the 50s. The atmosphere and the vibe inside is very 50s. It's the diner style with the booze and the, the silver lining of the booze and the turquoise uh, actual cushion part of the booze and they have a ton of food on their menu, and I'm super excited to have some burgers and maybe a milkshake and what, I don't even know. But I am just super, super, super duper excited to be here, and I can't wait to show you guys around. So let's go inside and get lost at Mel's Diner. has just arrived and this is fried green tomatoes and I'm sure that these are made the standard way with some sauce on the side. Mm. Mm. Piping hot. And let me taste the sauce. Mmm, yummy, yummy, yummy. Our entrees are here, and the first thing we're gonna try is the veggie omelet. And this is green peppers, onions, mushrooms, tomatoes, and provolone cheese. Um, and it's served with a potato pancake, I think, which is like a little mini hash brown. So let's try this omelet. This looks really good. Mmm. It's just, I'm dying to try one of these potato pancakes. They're really cute. Mm. That tastes like a little hash brown. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna try is this Swiss mushroom burger. So this is just a, a burger with Swiss cheese and mushrooms, onion, lettuce, and tomato on a bun. And on the side it's served with coleslaw and french fries. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is so good. This is so tasty. That burger. That's the best burger I've had since I've been in Florida. Okay, so let's try this classic cheeseburger. Oh my gosh, this looks so good, doesn't it? These burgers are out of this world delicious. Mm. So the next thing we're gonna try is the classic chocolate malt, which I'm super excited for. So let's try this. Ooh. Ooh, it's so chocolatey and so yummy. The next thing we're gonna try are the tacos. 
the grilled haddock tacos, which I've never tried haddock. I'm curious about it. And the grilled shrimp tacos. And these are three soft shell tacos, shredded lettuce, diced onions, chipotle aioli, and mango salsa served with rice and beans. So I want to try the haddock first because I'm super curious about this. Oh, that haddock is so fresh and very crisp and um, flaky. And now let's try the shrimp. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. You can tell that shrimp is super fresh, like they just pulled it out of the water this morning. So good. And that, that mango salsa is amazing. Okay, so this is their fish and chips platter dinner, and this comes with coleslaw, tartar sauce, and of course, french fries, or as the Brits say, chips. So here we go. All right, you can't have fish and chips without tartar sauce. Very fresh cod, whatever fish they used, probably cod. Very, um, even the batter is very delicate. You're my little Valentine. I'm gonna march you down the aisle. Okay, the next uh, dish we're gonna try is the Philly cheesesteak sandwich. And this is, it is USDA choice sirloin, onions, green bell peppers, mushrooms, and provolone on a toasted garlic hoagie roll. This looks really yummy. Oh yeah, this is good. Okay, the last entree that we have is the grouper dinner, and uh, I have had grouper and it is delicious. And it's called Mel's Golf Grouper Dinner, grilled, fried, or blackened grouper, and it comes with two sides, and I got the side that they usually just bring it out with, which is pilaf rice and steamed vegetables. Mm. Okay, the desserts are here and I'm ready to rock and roll. So this is a huge, huge, huge piece of coconut cream pie. And this is, it says on the menu that it serves four. So we'll see about that. <laughs> Look at this thing. All right, here we go. It's all coconut and it tastes amazing. Oh my god. <clears throat> okay, next we're having apple pie a la mode and the apple pie is heated up. You can tell because the ice cream has melted. Very cinnamony, very apple pie. Tastes like something grandma would make. It's delicious, it's the perfect mm -hmm. apple pie, honestly. And the final thing that we're gonna try is this breathtaking a brownie delight. Topped with vanilla ice cream, whipped cream, and hot fudge, and of course, a cherry. Alrighty, this looks decadent. Let's take a look. If a beach tastes like chocolate, that's what this would taste like. This is amazing. Okay, everybody, I am headed out now from Mel's Diner, and I've had a fabulous time here. I mean, truly, this has been a great experience. I love the food. I love the ambiance. I loved my waitress, Ashley. She was terrific. And Stacy, the bartender, was super great, too. She made this fantastic chocolate malt, and she made me that delicious cocktail earlier. So I've just had a really, really fun time. The food was really good. I just loved the burgers, the burgers, the tacos, and probably, oh, well, obviously the desserts speak of the devil that coconut cream pie and then that brownie deluxe whoo the chocolate malt was out of this world delicious the next time you're here in southwest florida make sure you stop in at one of the, the many mills diners locations and when you do make sure to let them know that lisa sent you and until next time everybody don't get lost without me